Hey guys, we're back at it. It's actually three days since I filmed the last clip. Uh, it was the morning and I was putting everything back in the truck. So I ended up working until about six o'clock that evening, got everything back in the truck, got the power steering pump primed, and we're good to go. Uh, since then, we've actually had an ice storm. There's about a half inch of ice on the ground. I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, our garage has ended up looking like this. Let me just show you. This is the carnage that has happened where I just kept grabbing stuff to finish the job. And, uh, you know, I, I got it all inside. But, um, uh, you know, I was exhausted on Monday, so I didn't clean it up. And then after that, I think I'm just... Uh, I think I'm just trying to find the, the motivation to clean it up. So today my goal is to put all my tools away, put everything back where it belongs so the next job I can actually find it. It has turned into a winter wonderland out here. Here's the end result and I've already noticed that I forgot to put the clamp back on the, the fitting that goes from the vacuum line to the vacuum pump. I'll have to do that after the video. But I kind of forgot what a mess everything in there was once you put the intercooler back on. So um, I definitely think that if you're doing this job, you know, take your intercooling pipe off. And, and something I figured out um, a little too late was, you know, the reason these intercooler lines have the bulge, I'm assuming, is because you can loosen the clamps and use that bulge to push it down over the fitting. So when I was struggling with this in the beginning, um, what I should have really done is uh, just loosen these clamps up a lot, push this intercooler piping down, and then I could have left the air horn on. Uh, for me, it was perfectly fine. It gave me a chance to clean up the bolts on the air horn, and there's one fitting back there if I can get to it. Um, there's one electrical fitting that the mice had chewed back over here. Uh, I believe it's the one closer to the motor that I got a new boot for. Uh, wasn't a big deal at all, you know, they sell these boots for studs. I just put some silicone on it, slid it on the old one, and um, there was a little bit of a struggle to get it over the, the round point of the terminal connector, but uh, it just looks so much better to have that boot on there now. Uh, and then I put way too much silicone on there just to keep things pliable. And then if we look down this way, uh, I'm pretty sure you're seeing the power steering pump. And um, priming the pump was definitely a, uh, a big deal. Um, it's not a big deal, but I didn't really know how to do it. First, I tried to bleed the old fluid out. So I moved the steering wheel back and forth a whole bunch of times. Then I put fluid in the reservoir and ran the truck and it never really came out um, smoothly at the same, you know, it, it would come out a little bit and then drip or I'd get foamy fluid in there. Um, so after struggling with that for a while, I hooked the hoses up, put fluid in the reservoir, uh, moved the steering wheel back and forth, the manual says 40 times with the engine off uh, to prime everything. After everything was primed, I'd start the truck with a full reservoir but it still wasn't catching. It was driving me nuts. You know, I tried this probably three or four times. Uh, and the secret, which, which, you know, experience only teaches, is to prime the system, you need to have the truck running and be putting fluid in. I guess, the, you know, however much is in the system is more than, than is in the reservoir. So once I started the truck and, and poured fluid, as the truck was running, just idling, uh, it, it immediately took the fluid in and, and has run fine ever since. Only other thing I'll say is, you know, I did overfill the reservoir several times during the process. I wanted to get the old fluid out, uh, but it was, it was quite a messy, quite a messy process to say the least. I spent, you know, more time than I should have because uh, I didn't really know how to do it. It was frustrating, but now I know for the rest of my life, so we're good. And then the last thing I'll show you guys is, um, the vacuum, over here on your truck, there's probably some vacuum lines that are, you know, falling apart. There's, there's vacuum lines, but what, what Dodge used to connect these was uh, really soft fittings that were basically degrading. So I went to the auto parts store and I was asking them about getting some vacuum lines, or vacuum line connectors, and they didn't have anything. 
but eventually the the guy at the auto parts store said well you know what a lot of people will use is windshield washer fluid or vacuum uh, tubing to connect so he just gave me a six inch piece of vacuum line or, or windshield washer tubing and that was all I needed to connect there's a thicker a thicker diameter here and a thinner diameter here and that's all I need to connect these these two so for like under two bucks that was taken care of there was no need for some crazy kit and the, the fittings have barbs on them I was thinking of putting some kind of a zip tie on them or something but you know they're so tight you, you just don't need one that's pretty much where we are guys I mean we got her done and, and uh, I just want to show you how nice my intercooler tube looks yes it is barbecue paint but there's no rust on it um, it's functional I know this video is going to end up being a ridiculously long video and if you watch the entire video uh, start to finish you know let me know and I'll give you a big heart in the in the description but um, I learned so much uh, you know doing this project and um, about how my my truck works I learned a lot about you know, finding solutions for problems, and, and I learned a lot about, you know, what I'm capable of. So I, you know, I look forward, I reluctantly look forward to some more projects, because I know with a truck this age, uh, whenever you get into something, there, there's always more, there's always other stuff you find. And I, I'm looking forward to that because it's my truck, so if I find it, I can take the time to fix it and, and make everything work well. So um, I think we're gonna wrap it up there, guys. Uh, the next thing I need to do on this guy is my um, my truck has been over, it, it hasn't been overheating, but it's been running hot. So if I'm driving, even yesterday when it was like 30 degrees out, I drove up a hill and you could see the thermostat you know, moving warmer uh, and you could see the the, the coolant kick on, you know, when the um, the thermostat opened and the temperature would go right down, but it's been running really hot. And I don't know if it's, you know, my radiator, it's 17 years old, if my radiator's getting clogged, or, you know, I do have, um, I can't really show it to you, but there's just a, a ton of oil in here because I think my main seal, I'm pretty much sure my main seal has been leaking for who knows how long. And I'm wondering if the oil from the main seal leaking has ended up getting onto the um, the radiator and causing the truck to, to run hot. But luckily it's a cool season, but if it was the summer, the truck definitely would. I don't know if it would overheat or it would just be running with the uh, thermostat open all the time. So my next project is, is hopefully to replace the main seal on the timing cover. And then once I do that, um, basically figure out whether I want to, you know, I'll, I'll probably, once I get all this stuff off, at least hose off the radiator, but I may be replacing the radiator next. Uh, and if I did the radiator, I'd probably do the radiator hoses, the thermostat, and the water pump as well. Just do it, you know, just do the whole cooling system. Um, if it's the off season, you know, you might as well. Um, but that's my thought for, uh, for the next project. But uh, hey guys, thanks for watching and uh, you know, thanks for your support through this project. And I, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Take it easy, bye-bye.